And now Gene starts with the Concord Airport 79. Well, they ought to retitle the whole airport series of movies, Fear of Flying. <laughs> Let's face it, that's what the whole thing's about. We vicariously experienced the threat of a crash of a big luxury jet crammed full of stereotypes, I mean people. <laughs> now, in the fourth film in the series, the Concord Airport 79, defense contractor Robert Wagner is trying to shoot down a supersonic aircraft because on the plane is reporter Susan Blakely, who has evidence that Wagner has been selling weapons to communist countries. So he sent one of his missiles after her plane, but the American government, after spotting Wagner's missile, sends some jets out to destroy <laughs> it before it destroys the Concorde. Here it comes. F-15 is at 10 o'clock. He's dead. The fight is too close. If he overshoots, we'll end up with a missile in our laps. The movie's nothing to cheer about. That failure, unfortunately, unfortunately, doesn't stop Robert Wagner. <laughs> he next sends a manned jet to blow up the Concorde in mid-flight. And this time, some French jets go after Wagner's jet. He's on his cannons. Power on. Engine two. Engine two. No response, sir. Try engine four. Power. Starting engine four. Oh, sir. Oh, we're going to take down. Oh. There's so much, there's so much fear. She's not responding, Captain. Engine three. Power. Oh, dear Lord, please. please. Oh, God, no. It's the worst nightmare. Oh, God, no. Engine three, no response, sir. Power, engine one. I think my feet are getting wet. Tardy flare. Number one, good ignition, sir. Try number two again, Peter. whole day. Engine four running, sir, starting three. Well, I did like when the toilet paper was flying <laughs> around in the bathroom and the bars of soap, but uh, I don't think as critics we go to these airport movies anymore to criticize them so much as to endure them. This one is pretty bad, awfully dull. It has very little humor, which would have helped a lot. The characters in the film are as shallow as a birdbath, and their <laughs> behavior makes no sense at all. The only parts of the film that are interesting are when we think the plane might go down. And that's kind of sick, I guess. It's kind of sick, and it's not very realistic. I mean, thinking all the way back to the first airport movie, it was more or less realistic. But in this one, 
look at it this way. Here's a plane that's going from Washington to Paris and then on to Moscow. Right. On the first leg of the flight, it's shot at by missiles. <laughs> it's attacked by a jet airplane. It lands. The next morning, everybody gets on board the plane again. Would you get back on that plane until you knew who was shooting at you? No way. And how about this? The center of the story is that Robert Wagner's trying to knock off this woman because she has the incriminating evidence. He, instead of going after her, and he could have knocked her off in Paris. He sees her in Paris in between the two flights in the mm -hmm. picture. Instead of knocking her off then, he waits till she gets back on the plane and then tries to shoot down the whole plane again. It makes absolutely no okay, sense. Okay, I have another small technical detail here. They must have done some research on this plane. They might have found out it's the fastest plane in the world, right? right? <laughs> At one point, George Kennedy has been promoted to pilot, opens the window, and sticks out a flare gun. You know? <laughs> At a thousand miles an hour, his hand and the rest of his body would wind up in the Canary Islands. That's I mean, right. that was really a... Also, the special effects. We could see there. You could tell when it was cartoon animation instead of real planes. It's not a good film. So what do we look forward to, Airport 81? I hope not. I hope this ends it. I hope it bombs out at the box office and no more airport movies. So please, don't see this movie. Okay. <laughs> the Concorde Airport 79 was the fourth in a series that crash lands this time. Neither Gene or I can recommend you see this PG-rated movie, and that's why there's a no next to both of our names.